football season is here yes yes uh, you heard me correctly it is back it is here and the very first game of the 2021 nfl season will feature the dallas cowboys and the Tampa Bay buccaneers the buccaneers kept everybody from their super bowl roster they are the reigning super bowl champions you know what i mean and they kept everybody like their whole starting lineup is going to be the exact same and more and more and I, I really don't see them having a bad year like i could really see them repeating really like like at least at least getting back to the world right but i don't know it's hard to do that but i think the buccaneers if they could like i, I think they could repeat like, they have a really good chance to repeat sad to say as a as a nfc south fan but yeah man on the other hand we have the dallas cowboys man America's team, quote unquote. Man. I don't know where they got that from, but uh, yeah, they're America's team. You know, they're gonna have Dak Prescott back. He came off that gruesome injury against the Giants last year, but it's good. It's good to see him back, man. Um, you know, I'm expecting to see a lot from this Cowboy team this year. You know, they got a new defensive coordinator and Dan Quinn. You know, you know how I feel about Dan Quinn. You know, I'm a Falcons fan, man. <clears throat> But yeah, he's the Cowboys defensive coordinator now. Uh, glad to see him get a fresh start. But yeah, man, in this matchup, bro, I'm, I gotta have the Buccaneers, bro. Like, but I just think the Buccaneers are a better team. They outmatch them. They're gonna give them problems defensively and offensively, bro. Like, Buccaneers are just that team, right? The next game we have here is the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the Houston Texans. The Texans have had a really long offseason, bro. They had. Like, I don't know what they improved upon, bro. And Deshaun, Deshaun Watson, he's done. He's not playing another snap for the Texans. Like, he, he's not playing until he gets on another team. The Jacksonville Jaguars, on the other hand, they got their future quarterback. Y'all know how I feel about Trevor Lawrence, bro. That's my favorite quarterback in the last... That's my that's my favorite quarterback out of the last couple of drafts, bro. Like, I've been talking about Trevor Lawrence forever since he was in high school, bro. Because, you know, I, I live in Georgia. I went to school down here, so I know... Like, I've been hearing about Trevor Lawrence before. The main media heard about Trevor Lawrence. But they've been they've been regarding him highly forever. But who do I who do I have winning this this game between two superb teams? I mean, not superb. I, I don't know the word. Fuck the word. But, yeah, I got the Jacksonville Jaguars beating the Houston Texans easily. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to... He's gonna welcome himself to the league. He's gonna throw about 300 yards, three touchdowns. You know, they're gonna hype him up at the week one. They're gonna be like, Trevor Lawrence is the real deal, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, man, I got the Jacksonville Jaguars on it. Next game, we have the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Washington football team. I'm really interested in this game because both these teams made major improvements in the offseason. Right? The uh, Washington football team picked up pieces on the offense to make the offense better because their, their offense hasn't been good at all since Kirk Cousins left. But their defense, they have a easily top five to top three defense in the league, man. Top two could be number one. Man. We're gonna see though. But yeah, man, I like I like this Washington football team squad. It's just I I just don't know how much better they got on offense. Like I know they picked up a new quarterback. They added some some weapons, but I'm not really sure if that makes them. I'm not really sure the pieces that they did pick up makes them so much better than what they were last year. Uh, we're going to see, though, man. We're going to see. I, I like their offensive line. I like I like their rookie draft class, man. They took Samuel Cosby in the second round. They took uh, Jamin Davis in the uh, first round at linebacker, which was the only... If, if there was a weak spot on their defense, the linebacker was that spot. And so they, they filled in those needs. And they got another lineman. Know, with with Trent, with them trading Trent Williams last year, they finally got his replacement. I like him a lot. Chargers, on the other hand, fool we, bro. They they revamped that offensive line. The offensive line has been bad since Philip Rivers, and they they revamped it. They they also picked up a rookie. Uh, was did they take him in the first round? Yeah, Rayshon Jenkins or something. It says something like that. I forgot, I forgot his name, but I'm pretty sure that's his name though. No. Yeah, they got him. Uh, Derwin James is coming back. Joey Bosa is coming back. They they took Asante Samuel in the second round. Like I really like this Chargers team, bro. I, I really can see them coming in second and giving the Chiefs a run for their money in the AFC West, man. So 
with this matchup, I have to have the Chargers, man. I have to. Next matchup, we have the Seattle Seahawks versus the Colts, man. I have the Seahawks winning this one, man. Like, I, I, I'm not really sure. Like, I, I, the Colts is gonna be competent again this year. Like, they're gonna, they're gonna be around 11 and six. They're gonna be around that area. Uh, it's weird saying that since it's you know extra week in the league now, but. Yeah, man, but I just I got to see how I was winning though, cause it's Russell Wilson, and you know, even though his O line has been bad, and he's gonna make plays. And I think DK Metcalf is gonna have a big game, and yeah, man, I, and I'm not really sure how good the Colts offense is gonna be against the Seahawks defense. Hopefully, the Seahawks defense is better uh, after that underwhelming defensive year they had last year. But yeah, next we have the Jets versus Panthers, two low tier teams going at it. But, uh, you know, the rookie, Zach Wilson, is going to make his debut, just like Trevor Lawrence earlier. Um, this, is, this is really going to be a good game, I believe, because Sam Darnold is now on the Panthers. You know, he got traded from the Jets. He was their supposedly future quarterback, but things didn't pan out. So they traded him, and they drafted Zach Wilson. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. But I think the Panthers just have a better team all around, and I think that the Panthers are going to be able to get the job done. Vikings versus Bengals. I'm taking the Bengals easily. Uh, I, I, I mean, not the Bengals. I'm taking the Vikings easily, excuse me. Because the Vikings, I think they just have a better team, and I don't like what the Bengals front office is doing with their roster over there. I mean, I, they took Jamar Chase, but I, I believe they should have went in the trenches or traded back in. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think they needed Jamar Chase. Uh, and so far, looking in the preseason, Jamar Chase hasn't been that impressive. But hopefully, it's just preseason or whatever. He figures it out and he becomes the dominant receiver that we think he will be. <clears throat> Next, we have a really interesting matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and Tennessee Titans. One side, we got Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins. And on the other side, we got Ryan Tannehill, my former boy Julio Jones, and A.J. Brown. This is going to be a really interesting matchup, man. Yeah, two of the best receivers going at it. Uh, and two decent quarterbacks going at it. We're going to see, man. I, I really don't know how this game is going to go. I know the Cardinals really beat up their defense by getting D.J. Watt alongside Chandler Jones. It's gonna be crazy, bro. It's, they're gonna have, they're gonna be giving some old lineman issues, bro. But who do I have winning this game? I believe the Tennessee Titans is gonna get the job done. Niners versus Lions. Let's see here. Okay, so Niners. What what did they do in the offseason? I'm not really sure if they made any huge moves. They had a lot of injuries last year, which led them to missing the playoffs. Uh, Lions traded Matthew Stafford, got Jared Goff. They lost hella receivers, uh, and their defense really isn't nothing to be like wow about. So you know the Niners have elite defense, and Kyle Shanahan called off in the play, so they're in good hands regardless. So I have I have the Niners winning this game. Next, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Buffalo Bills. Ooh we uh, I got the Bills winning this game, bro. Right? Josh Allen is gonna air them out. Uh, yeah, I feel like the Buffalo Bills defense is going to get stops on that average Pittsburgh Steelers offense. Uh, I don't think the Steelers are going to be are going to be too bad this year like people think they will. I think they'll be middle middle of the pack. They're in a tough division too. Browns and Ravens are going to run that. But yeah, I got the Bills winning this game. Next up, we have the Philadelphia Eagles versus my, my Atlanta Falcons. Who do I have on this game? Easy, Brad. The Atlanta Falcons. No bias. Why I think we're going to win? First of all, I think the Eagles are going to be one of the worst teams in the league. Their roster just isn't too appealing to me. Like, um, they have uh, some talent, right? They have Fletcher Cox. They have Darius Slay on defense. But that's about, that's about it. That's really about it. And um, they still got Brandon Graham. But, you know, he hasn't been the same player that he once was. But he's, he's still, he's, he was still... It would still put put some damage on our O line if you know we don't block them. But uh, yeah, so I got the Falcons winning this game. I think I think Kyle Pitts is gonna catch his first career touchdown in this game. I think Matt Ryan is gonna do a decent job of spreading the ball around. Hopefully our run game finally comes together. So we'll see. We'll see. Man. I know our defense isn't that good, but also the Eagle offense is really isn't that good. Uh, but yeah, man, I, tr I trust us to be able to play good defense in Week One at least. Next up, we have 
game of the week in my opinion. Game of the week. Cleveland Browns versus Kansas City Chiefs. AFC Divisional Round rematch for the Browns, right? I remember that game. Patrick Mahomes went out and uh backup quarterback came in. Was it who was it? Matt Moore? Was it Matt Moore? I forgot. I forgot who it was. But uh yeah, backup quarterback came in. He he ran for a first. Well, he got close. It was third and long. He ran and got like fourth and first, and then they they converted on fourth down in in crunch time, and they got it. It was ballsy from uh, Andy Reid, but he got it. It it, uh, it worked out. And the Chiefs won that game, and I think I gotta have the Chiefs win the game. But the Browns will be hungry. They will be fighting. I, I think it will be a close game though. I think the Browns could win, but you know, I just safe bet of taking Chiefs. Next up, we got the Green Bay Packers versus New Orleans Saints. Fuck the Saints. I got Packers. Uh, next up, we have a uh, you know we got the Denver Broncos versus the New York Giants. Um, I don't even know what to say about these two teams. These two teams are well, actually no. Let me stop. The Giants has a, has a really good roster, offensively and defensively. I mean, there's still a big question mark besides besides Daniel Jones' name. Um, you know, he had an underwhelming season last year, but he has some talent around him. So you got Saquon Barkley coming back. He has a really good receiving core. Kadarius Tony, John Ross, Sterling Shepard, uh, uh, Darius Slayton, and uh, yeah, bro, they they got they got a receiving core, and they got Evan Ingram still, even though he's. He's decent. He, he'll drop some passes, but he's still decent. But yeah, man, I think I'm gonna have the Giants on this one. The Broncos, they they have Teddy Bridgewater starting at quarterback. They have their quarterback situation all confused, but they do have a good defense though. So I will say that the Giants must not sleep on the Denver Broncos defense. Next up, we got the Miami Dolphins versus the England Patriots. Um, the Patriots are a good team. You know, they got they cut Cam Newton surprisingly like last week. The week before, so the keys have been given to Mac Jones to to replace Tom Brady, and you know their defense is still elite. I don't think Stephon Gilmore will be playing any time soon, but they still have a good defense. On the other hand, we got Miami Dolphins coached by uh, uh, their coach is formerly from the Patriots, like he's literally a disciple of uh, Bill Belichick, and I think you know I think it'll be a good matchup. We got Tua. Uh, this is his Full, first full season he played a little bit last year people gave him a lot of unnecessary hate for no reason like I told y'all I like Tua Tua is, is one of my favorite quarterbacks uh, my favorite young quarterbacks should I say but yeah in this matchup however I will have to give the dub to the New England Patriots next up we got the Chicago Bears versus Los Angeles Rams my boy Justin Fields not playing so uh, they have no shot uh, Aaron Donald will kill Andy Dalton uh, Matthew Stafford will obliterate the defense. Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna say all that. Chicago Bears has a really good defense, but I, do, I will tell you this though: the Rams are winning, um, and Justin Fields needs to start as soon as possible. Like I don't, I don't know why they think Andy Dalton is the best shot at winning games, but it is just not it. Next up, we have the Baltimore Ravens versus the Las Vegas Raiders. I have the Ravens winning this easily. Raiders defense reek. I don't. I'm not trusting that Raiders offense versus the Baltimore Ravens defense. The defense is beautiful, beautiful defense. And uh, yeah, man, it's that simple. Well, this was my first video back in a while, and you know, hopefully, hopefully, like, you know, hopefully I can get back on track. But I've been really busy with school and stuff like that. But um, I'm, I'm really going to try to get back on track, especially with football season here. I'm so excited. This is really my first YouTube video during football season. Uh, you know, I started this a few months ago. And, uh, yeah, right. This is my first, my first time during football season. I'm excited. And, yeah, man, I'm really excited for this football season. A lot of interesting teams. A lot of quarterbacks now. A lot of young quarterbacks. I'm ready to see how they develop and stuff like that. But, you know. For tonight's game, you know, I got the Buccaneers. I just think they're a better team. That's simple. Well, yeah, man. If you made this a part of the video, I appreciate it so much. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you boys later. Like and subscribe, or else.